Loving me was all you tried when you were around I've been told too many times now Yeah, loving me was all you tried when you were around I've been told too many times now But somewhere Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing something different. I'm doing something I have never done before. I am trying what they call a spicy bun or in my case a spicy ponytail. I think it is a ponytail that I'm doing. But before we get to that, let me just start by moisturizing my hair. I'm gonna start with the Aunt Jackie's Not On My Watch Instant Detangling Therapy because I want to give my hair some moisture and detangle it. And then I am gonna go in with this Native Child Castor Oil. It is my first time using it and I'm not sure how I feel about it. The Consistency is very thick, but I'm not mad at it. I'm just gonna make sure that my hair is detangled, and then I am going to start parting my hair. Now, this is difficult okay like my hair is super thick and to get straight lines i've never been good at passing my hair anyways but yeah just this was more challenging because i wanted my hair to look neat and proper so yeah just me just trying to get the lines straight i failed but i did try let's look how thick my hair is like my hair is super super thick like it stresses me wanna be trapped wanna be down wanna be stuck in this town and I'm just going to get that back section out of the way and then go ahead and deal with the front now I'm just sectioning my hair into smaller sections and here I'm trying to get the lines straight because I really do want this hair to, to be neat that was the intention Looking for a new start. Now I'm going to lock in the moisture in my hair with the Aunt Jackie's Seal It Up Hydrating Sealing Butter. As I love this product, it is amazing. It just leaves my hair moisturized and feeling soft. <music> Now this is the funny parts or the parts that made me want to cry and want to give up. So in this video, I was following Crowned K's tutorial. I'm going to leave her video down in the description box so that you see which video I was trying to recreate uh, or which look I was trying to recreate. And already I was just over it here because parts in my hair was a mission and a half and then what she used was elastic bands and I thought that I would do the same but uh uh just wait and see what happened and she used something called age booster and here I am using got to be glues spiking wigs I think that's what it's called um I thought it was going to do the same thing I didn't want to use gel and I'm glad that I didn't because it was just going to mess up the whole thing I was not I was just going to give up so this this was a disaster guys you it was a disaster so this is just me trying to lay that spiking wax and then i'm going in with my elastic band which was not holding because it was slippery so the spiking gel made my hair to be slippery i went in and i tried until i succeeded yep yeah i was just i was over it already 
basically what she what she did was opening in beta. If you're in South Africa, you, we call it opening in beta. I don't know, but in KZN where I grew up, we called it opening in beta. That is what Kim was doing, but she used elastic bands instead. And for me, like it just looked untidy. My hair was too thick for it. And I didn't really feel comfortable with the elastic bands. I felt like they were just going to break my hair. And then I was like, okay, what what can I use? What can I do? Because I don't have any wool or um, a string to to do pinning basically. So I just decided, you know what, just braid your hair into strands and then try and connect those. And I was like, okay, um, let me just do that. I called my sister to help me take off the elastic bands because it was just impossible to take them off okay i get careless long as you know i come with imperfections when you look at me you see the soul through my flesh you something special and then now i'm back and i, I don't want to give up guys i don't want to give up i wanted to see if i could do this it was just a challenge and um yeah now i'm going to just braid my hair i'm gonna do crisscross like i don't know how to explain this so just watch and see what I was doing here, but basically, opening see that is crisscross. Um, growing up, we called it um, what did we call it? Fishbone. I don't know what you called it, but we called it fishbone, and this is what I am doing here. Either way, baby, we could go on. We could go on. Either way, baby, we could go on. We could go on. Do we heal? Do we bleed? I'm gonna follow you. If this video is too fast i do apologize it was the longest longest video so i had to speed it up and also if it's long i'm also sorry i just didn't want to skip any steps but i didn't want to make the video like too too long because if i didn't speed it up then the video was gonna be way too long but i believe you can still see what i'm trying to do so what i'm doing is like i'm going to take the first strand and connect it to the opposite side or take it to the opposite side to connect it and then um braid that together so yeah just put the hair in the middle put the strand yeah put the strand that is on the other side and then braid it together i hope i'm making sense yeah so you just take it to the opposite side and then you braid it together until you get to the end basically my arms were feeling it i was tired i think it was over an hour here of me just sitting here and trying to get this right and watching the video but here yeah, i wasn't watching the video anymore i was just done i was like you know what i'm winning it i'm gonna do my own thing and we'll see i'm not that creative when it comes to here i'm not creative at all i don't even know how to do it i don't this here i don't know what i was doing child i'm just winging it so now here i'm not going to crisscross i'm just going to take it all the way to the back because i felt like um it would look a too tacky it already, it already looks somehow but i feel like if i do crisscrosses all over then it won't look nice-ish um yeah so here what i'm doing i'm just doing a two strand twist because i took like a really really small section in front so i'm just doing two strand twist and then i'm going to braid i'm going to and then i'm going to braid it as i'm taking it back to sort of like look the same as the other side which not really but you get what i'm trying to say right i hope so my arms are tired that's why i'm leaning back and forward i'm also just trying to see if i'm i'm still getting it right and i'm hungry and I'm sleepy i'm annoyed i'm just everything that you could think of at this point and but giving up is not an option honestly i wanted to but i was like i'm not gonna give up let me challenge myself let me see if i can if i can do this and then i took a, like a five minutes break i stole all it says um make nuggets I, I had to i was hungry i was gonna pass out okay so yeah 
now i'm back with a little bit of energy i had a break so now i can just finish this here for you guys if you have the care like you understand what i'm going through i hope i'm not the only one with the struggle and if you are there you're struggling girl you're not the only one okay i know the struggle of having super thick hair of having like coarse hair because my hair is like super super hard this is not 4c hair this is 4c zits 4c something or 100c because this hair is it's really hard to manipulate it's not easy to manipulate so I don't know i'm just learning and teaching myself and hopefully this video can help someone out there as well i'm not really teaching you anything i'm just showing you what i did to my head to try to manipulate hair that is not easy to manipulate so yeah on, on this side i'm just repeating um what i did on the other side and then in the middle part just to leave the middle part to do the crisscrosses like i said i didn't want to do them all over so i felt like if i just do maybe on the sides and then in the middle and then just watch and see how it's gonna be like and then i just showed you that i still had elastic band stuck on my hair that thing was so difficult to um get off my hair we had to use scissors but luckily we didn't cut off my hair but it was really really difficult and i saw another girl using oil applying oil on them so if you want to try the elastic bands apply some oil before you uh you start your hair with this elastic band maybe that will help <laughs> here we are we are done with opening beauty and this is what it looks like now here comes the part that crushed my soul that crushed my spirit but before we get to that let's just make sure that the hair is moisturized okay spread it with water because it was a bit dry and then now i'm just gonna go in with that seal it up um seal it up hydrating silicone butter yeah i think that's what it's called and then i'm just applying that all over my hair so now for my gels i had two options i had the got to be glue uh gel and also the um, aunt jakey's gel the, i don't know what it's called i just put it on the screen so i decided to go with the aunt jakey's one because it had some nice claims some promises like the stronghold and shine and all of that so i thought okay fine this is for hair and it's going to slick my hair it didn't okay all those claims did not have i did not get the results that i was hoping to get so i'm gonna get myself a proper gel maybe it's just maybe i don't know how to apply the gel so this is just me sectioning the hair parts in my hair because they say if you've got super thick hair make sure that you section your hair and you go in with the gel like in between your hair so that is what i was doing here just trying to slick the hair down and i'm also trying to tie it so that it stays in place it did not okay and what i noticed is that the gel was becoming white so i don't know whether i'm the one who does not know how to apply this gel or, or what i have no idea but it was just getting all messy and my hands were sticky i was so over this squeezing thing like it's just like out my my fingers and my hands were tired and yeah I just went in with a generous amount of this gel. I don't know whether I used too much, but look how white it looks on my hair. So this is just me again trying to slick it and going in with the brush because I see people using brushes to slick down the hair, but my hair was not slicking down. So now if you know how I can slick down my hair, please tell me, please let me know because it was just not happening in these strands that are these hair strands or whatever like they're just not <sighs> guys i was just defeated like I, I don't know so this is me just trying to tie it and like okay maybe if i just tie it and um in the middle it will it will happen i don't know and then there was only here trying to disturb me trying to take my shine Uh, whatever I was trying to do here um, was a fail. It, yeah. 
I'm just tired by looking at this. Then I decided to go in with my detangler brush because I felt like maybe that brush was not doing anything and my hair was starting to dry up and it was flaking as well like the gel was getting dry like super dry and also flaking but at the end we managed to get a pony like a little tiny pony and yeah mm. and then because i didn't know what to do with the hair i was like okay fine let me just take some hair pins and try and lay it down and after that i was just finished guys i was like okay fine let me just wrap this video i put on my setting look setting scarf and i was just ready to be done now it's the next day i decided to start with my face just to get myself in the mood and now i'm going in with my leftover hair piece uh, just to add something to grab on that pony because i felt like it was so, so tiny and i'm going in with this expression hair piece this is in color one and i don't think this is real expression the way this thing was tangling on me honestly i don't think it's it's expression but i don't know and then now i am just going to put on a hair tie on this so that i can put it on my head i do not want to put any other elastic band on my head i was just over elastic then so i was like okay you know what take your hair tie and then just strip this on that fake little bun that you did so now i'm going to leave out just a small section of that hair or a small piece of that hair and then i'm going to try and detangle this hair i didn't fluff it out because i didn't know what i was doing so i was like i'm not even sure if this video is gonna make it or if this is gonna happen so let me not waste any more time by trying to fluff this out let me just use it the way it is so if you want to you can fluff it up but i didn't so yeah now i am just braiding this because i wanted a braided pony now at the end i am going to add an elastic band because like i said i didn't fluff it out so if it, it needed something to um hold it and keep it in place and i'm just going to detangle this like oh I'm, I'm just annoyed even by looking at this video i'm annoyed you know because uh, i went through the most and now to just keep this in place i'm gonna go in with that spiking wax which didn't do a good job or maybe i didn't add enough i don't know because this thing just kept tangling and tangling and see that i just need to be by myself i have told you many times now and yeah i thought you know what let me add something i decided to go in with the got to be glue spray uh which did a good job actually i was happy with that but the spiking wax nah didn't realize that my camera wasn't recording when i was um doing my baby hairs but that is fine here is the final results uh the hair was flaking at the back guys like i don't know but i managed to get away with that um yeah this is the final look i fooled you guys on instagram make it look like you know what it looks so hard but honestly it wasn't i was just like okay i tried to do this but it tried me instead yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please remember to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below let me know just rate it okay let me know how i did i know it wasn't a perfect job but please just rate it and let me know just make sure that you subscribe to my channel and press notification bell so that you do not miss any of my future uploads and i'll catch you on my next video bye